Okay, so Leo is fixed fire. Leo rules the fifth house. Leo is ruled by the sun. The sun rules Leo. When it comes to truly understanding and overstanding a Leo, what you have to come to terms with first is that in their mind, they are always the star of the show, especially a rising Leo, because <clears throat> the Leo is represented represented by the sun and the sun is like the main functioning luminary that gives life to to everything in this reality this is the sun that moves into these different constellations that we pay attention to so that's leo leo is your identity now one thing that i want you to understand here is that the rising sign is your personality the rising sign is who people meet when they're in public the sun represents your identity because the sun stays with you throughout your life because it's your, <clears throat> it's your inner child. So let's say, for example, if somebody has Chiron and Leo, then you know automatically that this is somebody who will throughout their life have a hard time healing their inner child, right? So Leo placements are very important. Right, especially if your of Leo connects to any of the axis points, the ascendant, descendant, the IC, the MC. Um, so Leo represents your inner child. Leo represents your father. Leo represents your children. Leo is how somebody creates. Leo is how you go about playing in the world. How you enjoy not just working but playing. Virgo is about working. Leo is about playing. Leo is the first time throughout your life, like around the age of five, that you realize, like, wait a minute, my parents can do anything that I want to. Like, I'm the star of the show. Like, they, if I cry, I get my way. If I do this, I get my way. If I do this, Leo is the first time that age of five that you really have a run in with your ego. The reason why people always confuse Leos with having big egos is because Leo represents the inner child that never died. So you know how a child is so brave, they would do anything, run into any situation without really thinking about it. The reason that people confuse Leos with having big egos is because Leos never lost that. So they are brave. They are always fixed on what they want to do because they are fixed fire so leos are stubborn they are loyal as hell okay because leo they know how it feels to to have their inner child wounded when they look at other people they usually see your inner child first they usually see your identity first a leo will try to bring that creativity out of you Leo degrees are very important in a chart, all right? That's the fifth degree. That is the 17th degree, all right? And that is the 29th degree. Those degrees in a chart can pretty much point to somebody who has a immense focus of attention in that area, especially with themselves. Because remember, Leo is in the second quadrant Okay, so Leo is still about the selves. Now, one thing that Leo has a problem, I won't say problem with, but they have a hard time doing is connecting to other people. Although Leos are very loyal people, they are loners because they don't know how to make friends. That's the reason why the lions are called the king of the jungle, even though it's highly debatable that it's, it's a tiger. Okay, but... Leos can learn from Aquariuses because Leo opposes Aquarius, right? They're opposite signs. So just how Aquariuses can learn how to put themselves first, Leos need to learn how to put other people before them. Because like I said, they are the star of the show. But again, Leo, the fifth house is never, I never really hear it associated with your father, but it can be associated with your father, children, creativity, playfulness, identity, so many other things but i'm gonna stop right there for leo um if you guys want to see more videos like this make sure you like share 
and follow. See you for the next sign. Love you guys. Peace.